That can't be good for your back. Uh, I manage. Thanks for letting me stay here. Didn't have much of a choice. Well, no one else answered their door. Quite chaotic yesterday, huh? What the hell happened? I was about to meet this guy. The guy who got shot? What for? I... don't know his name. He reached out, said he had something for me. But you know how that ended. So you were down there to meet him? Who shot him? You don't seem the type. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I didn't see the shooter, but I got a good view of the victim. Shady type, hat and coat. Nervous. Didn't even seem to notice the pouring rain. So? I have to take a look outside. You have a balcony, right? Yeah, the doors are open. Wow, what a puddle. Are you okay here? None of your business. So, why would he contact you, out of all people? I work for El Diario, part-time. A journo. And for the one lefty rag at that. It's thanks to journalism from rags like mine that things are finally changing. The election is only a few days from now. Whatever he had, it must have been important. He's still there. The body... It's still there. What are they doing? Can you grab my camera? I need to see this in more detail. <sighs> Let's take a look. They left the body fresh in the open. Seems... almost unprofessional. Definitely not protocol. How would you know? Wait, are you a cop? Never seen a cop in a wheelchair. I'm retired. Well, good for you. Better be in a wheelchair than a policia armada thug. You know, if they heard that, you'd be in a cell, the gutter, or worse. And there you have it. My point proven. Take a picture. Camera's loaded. Why are they leaving him out in the open? That's it. I'm going down there. You hold on to the camera for now. What do you mean, for now? I can't be seen with it. Too suspicious. Don't sweat it. I'll grab my stuff later. Take too long and I'll have you pay rent! Hey man, you there? What the? Did she take one of my transmitters? Pick up your transmitter. It's in that box. In your room. Come on, pick it! You took one of my transmitters. <laughs> oh, please. It was just gathering dust anyway. Hey. I'm down here now. Can you see me? You can't just go snooping around a crime scene. I can be sneaky. Relax. They're not letting
letting me get close. Of course they're not. But they will probably collect witness statements soon. Sounds like someone's decided to help. I'll keep an eye out and let you know when it's safe. But if they catch you, I don't know you. Coast is clear. Now, go. Withholding information, tampering with evidence. Do you not care at all about what? Shut up. Are you trying to draw attention to me? Carnation for me to. <sighs> Never mind. All right, I've seen enough. Listen, kid. I've thought about this. Yeah? Any words of wisdom? These people you're dealing with Red Flowers, El Diario. The terrorists are never more than a few steps away. Terrorists, huh? Guess that's what an ex-cop would say. What I'm getting at is that the Polythea won't protect you in this. Everything that's even close to the left is terrorism to them. You'll end up charged by association. Walk away while you can. Inspiring. But between the two of us, I haven't given up yet. Drop the attitude, kid. You're in over your head. So help me. Something is seriously wrong here. You said it yourself. This isn't following protocol. I don't know. Come on. As an ex-policia, aren't you the least bit concerned? Fine. Listen. First, We've got to look for witnesses. Find a lead. Now we're getting somewhere. So, who is that guy in front of the church? It's Padre Eusebio. Harmless. Harmless? They enforce their family traditions, turning women into obedient caretakers. It's all just another grab for power. He's not someone I can trust. Those things are changing, even within the church. You just have to be patient. Change doesn't come from patience. down that end of the street. Go.
<sighs> he doesn't know anything about the shooting. Claims he was asleep at the time. Makes sense. He also said they should have taken the body away by now. Yeah. Look at that mess. I wonder... Can you say we don't know where he's gone? Hey. I saw Eusebio talking to that bum who lives near the archway yesterday. Seems to keep an eye on him. Okay. Try asking him if he knows what that bum was doing yesterday evening. Aldo. The homeless guy tried to keep up. Anyway, when I pressed him for it, he clammed up and didn't want to talk anymore. Almost seemed to regret mentioning Aldo in the first place. Odd indeed. I'll keep an eye out for the bum. Maybe he knows something. I'll go into the cafe and see whether I can find out something there. Yeah. Maybe you can overhear some conversations. Just tell me if you spot something. There she is. Nothing to do all day, huh? Who are you talking about? Lola, the, the singer from the cabaret. Works most nights. Maybe she saw something. I'll go talk to her. Still putting the moose on Lola. Maybe there is hope for both of you. Fall in love, quarrel bitterly, die old. There are worse ways to live. Now is a good time to ask Lola about the previous night. On my way. She says she was at home, but didn't see anything. Can't trust anyone down there. Is there anyone in this world you actually like? Why would I like artists who push their own political agenda? They all do. Everything is political. Look around you. Life is. Well, it didn't used to be. Because all art that wasn't pro-government used to be repressed. Thanks for reminding me. Pick something up. I should take a photo for later. What are you up to? Oh, that was a drop if I ever saw one. Listen, I think there's something fishy with that newspaper at the cafe table. Are you serious? I'm hunting a shooter and you asked me to get the papers? I think the singer just took something from it. Fine, I'll take a look. The paper is from last week, man. Ha! <laughs> Told you so. We use old Sunday papers to get updates from our informants. I mean, we used to. Huh. What do you think was in it? Probably a message of some kind. Interesting. 
We should keep an eye on her in the future. I feel like we're done with the cafe for now. Yeah. Nobody left to talk to. We should take a look at the cabaret. Carmen is over on her roof terrace having a smoke. Who's she? Runs the cabaret. Bunch of leftists, shady folks. Basically anyone the nationalists would consider unwanted. I see. Probably means she hasn't seen anything either. Agreed. She wouldn't tell you. She makes sure to stay out of things like this, to keep her people safe. I've got an idea. See the big man at the cabaret entrance? What about him? He looks... cautious. El Blanco is their bouncer. He won't let you through. But Carmen sometimes comes down to check on him. You could listen in if you're quick. Okay. Carmen just went down to talk to El Blanco. Try to get behind the van. Other proof, it might as well mean they're hiring a new singer. Sure, but it seems more serious than that. Anything else? Oh, they've lowered their voices. Don't risk getting closer. like an argument. Are you getting any of this? I think it's about money. So much for communism. When it's about paychecks, everyone's the same. I don't know what, but you're definitely projecting something. Anyway, I think it's more about the cabaret's finances. Pretty singer just ducked to hide from the Polythea. I'm starting to get really interested in her. I'm going up to talk to her. Not with that brute guarding the door. She's probably getting ready for work anyway. Nothing happening at the cabaret. Oh, this investigation isn't going anywhere. You've only just started. These things take time. I don't have time. I need to find out what the mole was going to tell me before all leads disappear. The mole? Yeah, it was the code name the victim used when he contacted me.
Just for the record, don't worry. You are not a suspect. Yet. There's an elderly lady in the building, on the other side of the street. What about her? Is she an anarchist as well? She's always up there. If anyone saw something, it'll be her. Which apartment's hers? Just look for the buzzer with the name Anna. Tell her Jorge sent you. She'll love that. Hey man, I'm at your lady friend's place. She's not my lady friend. She says she wants to talk to you. And I kid you not, she has her own transmitter. I gave her our frequency. She'll connect in a moment. Um, wait. Uh, are you serious? Jorge. Jorge, is that you? Uh, <clears throat> hola, Senora Ana. It's been too long. So, uh... I have a few questions. Jorge, how have you been? Are you holding up all right over there? You never go to bed on time. Not since the accident. I talked to Sebio. He says you stopped coming down for confession. Yeah, listen. I know it's been a while, but I was hoping that maybe we... You know we had an electric elevator installed here? You should talk to that landlord of yours to get one too. Would do you good. Not loaf around up there all day. Signora Anna, please. I need to ask you if you could... Your friend told me already. About the shooting. What a mess, eh? The policia only guards what's important to the regime, as always. Anyway, I didn't see nothing. I see. Thank you for your help, Signora. But I bet Aldo did. He was down there last night. Ran like the wind. You mean you saw the bomb? Are you sure? I'm old, but neither blind nor stupid. Go ask him. I know what I saw. Thank you, Senora. It hey man, we have a real lead. I'm gonna go down, just a moment. <sighs> Let me finish a sentence for once. So, the homeless man, where is he? He hasn't returned yet. I'll let you know if I spot him. Those mechanics. Wouldn't hurt to take some photos. Ever busy, that one. There's another place you can try. These two girls, they recently moved into the garage in the square. Grown women aren't girls, Jorge. Do you mean the mechanics? Uh, yes. I, I don't know them. It's a long shot, but I think their lights were on last night. I'm heading over now. Did you talk to both of them? Luisa and Marietta. They're Italian. Moved here recently. Seems like a couple of parts for one of the scooters have gone missing. Do you think it's related? I doubt it. The sisters think it's just some kids playing around. 
Okay. So nothing for us there. No. Said they were shocked when they opened up this morning. Not every day there's a corpse lying on your doorstep. Uh, I think we should keep a lookout for those missing parts. What a waste of time. Maybe. But if they know something, getting on their good side could prove useful. There's something in the church garden. You're not sending me around randomly, are you? There's a handlebar here. Could... I think there's a part behind the car by the cabaret. Uh-huh. lying here. Hey, I'm gonna return those scooter parts to the mechanics. Tell me when the coast is clear. Are you afraid of getting arrested for carrying scrap parts? I'm afraid of making a permanent impression with the policia and leading them straight up to your place. Point taken. I'll check. Nobody's watching right now. You can bring them the Okay, about time. This stuff is heavy. Why am I doing this? <laughs> You're trying to save the world one part at a time? <laughs> Very funny. Enough distractions for now. We should have another look at the neighborhood. Okay. I'll look around a bit again. decided to come back. Your friend Arno is here. You mean Aldo? Right. Well, where is he? His usual place by the archway. down the way I expected it to. Why? What? Nothing. For now, at least. Did it seem like he was scared or something? Yeah. Said the policia have been giving him a hard time lately. He wants to meet me in the church garden after sundown. Guess you have to play along. I took notes of your findings. Let's go through them. Be there in a moment.
Okay, so what now, Mr. Eye in the Sky? See that chart? It opens. I'll pin my drawings to it. You put up the photographs. Okay, I've marked the main parts of the story. The story? I told you I'm working on this piece. We need to recreate the order of events. I've saved some space in the middle. Just put the clues in order there. I was supposed to meet a guy, called himself the Mole. And why were you meeting him? He contacted me, said he had something that would help my career as a journalist. He was wearing a red carnation like we agreed. Right. Aldo stayed at the bench last night. He must have been close by when the murder happened. Doña Ana saw Aldo from her window. She said he fled the scene. I wonder what he knows. Someone got shot, right outside my apartment. Yeah, the question is, why? Now that we've established the timeline of the crime, we can start looking for suspects. Good start. I'll put that away. Can't have it out in the open in case someone comes by. Uh, name's Melinda, by the way. Jorge. Yeah, you told me when I visited Anna, remember? Let's hang around till sundown. Aldo better have some good info.